Hey, it's me, Zanov, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode Playthrough. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm just going to check that I have indeed dropped a save here. Yes, I did indeed. <gasps> Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, guys. I'm doing pretty good. I'm very, very sorry for the abrupt ending at the end of the last episode. Uh, I've just got, you know, some some uh, some stuff going on at my house right now, and something needed urgent uh, taking care of, and I didn't have time to explain it the last at the end of the last episode or anything like that. Oh, Serana, we need to do something about this. You look awful. I just wanted you to carry it. I did not want you to put it on. This is yeah, this is not a good look for you. Um, yeah, so something was going on. I had to quickly go take care of it. I apologize for the short video. Video. I have written down in my notes, so hopefully I remember that I release last episode and this episode on the exact same day, uh, just to give you guys, you know, that little bit of extra content that I, I, I feel like I robbed you of because of something in my life that was kind of coming up, and you know, I've got a commitment that I've, you know, put on myself that I, I want to, I want to be able to supply content for you guys, so. Uh, yeah, this is this, the, the two videos on the same the day dark. is my little I've way of apologizing. Of time in caves already. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you guys are disrupting what I'm trying to say, but yeah, this is just like a little apology uh, for the abrupt end of the last episode after all that travel as well. Don't worry, I'm very aware, very aware of, of the gripes that could come from that. But in any case, we're going to be talking to Septimus Cygnus. How long will it be sung? My feet were set upon the rock. But it turned to mud and drew me down. I've brought you all the blood you require. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Serana, why are you making a mess of this man's place? <laughs> Did you just stab that into yourself? Okie dokie. So what I think he did was he imbued himself with the blood of all those dead people, which is kind of gross if you think about it. And another one of Skyrim's animations being ruined by this uh, this hunger effect we have. So we are going to go potion of blood. Hopefully that helps out the uh, the view. There we go. Absolutely awesome. I absolutely loved that, by the way, because it was just like I had no idea it went all the way back there. What? It was just so cool to see. So so cool to see. But let's go in and see what all this work was for. Because I believe after he injected himself with all those dead what elves, uh... It's... it's just a book. I can... And that was the end of Septimus Cygnus. <laughs> let's search the ash pile. Useless, 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 useless. Yeah, we'll just leave him... we'll just let him uh, stay there for eternity. But the reward we get for this quest is the one, the only, the Serana that steps in front of everything whenever you're doing anything, the Ogma Infinium. Uh, we don't want to read it. I just want to take it. We want to save this for a later date when it can be used more efficaciously, more efficiently. But yeah, what I believe he was doing was he was tricking the tonal lock on this thing with all the other blood of the elves so that it would think he was a Dwemer or whatever and then it would let him in and that's why it unlocked and opened up and yada yada yada. If I was wrong about that, that's just my quick off the top of my head explanation for what happened. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. I genuinely actually do want to know what was happening there when he injected himself with it speak to the wretched abyss come my champion oh come now come now uh i am not your champion monster who do you think brought septimus here who do you think protected you on your journey to open the box and loose my knowledge on this world. Ah, uh, me and my trusty Your dagger. Your free will is an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business. But I will be in your mind. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world, 
Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. And there we go. The wretched abyss is gone. Now, uh, can we take this stuff or is it still stealing? Yeah, it's still stealing from a dead guy. Um, when they always like, so this, is, this is the thing. I, I do absolutely love the lore of the Elder Scrolls. Like, absolutely, absolutely love it. So when the Daedric princes and that always like, they, they do this thing where like, oh, regardless of whether or not, you know, you are my champion, you will be acting in accordance of my will, blah, 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 blah. Uh, for me, it's more a matter of like, am I really though? I don't feel like I am. Like, I feel like if you were in this world and something like that happened to you, them saying that regardless of whether or not you acknowledge me or not, I, you're still working for my will and stuff. Like, uh, yes, but I feel like that's just like a way for them to get you to think about it. And now I'm super cold because I accidentally took a dip in the water. Oh, um, <laughs> I think that's like just their way to get in your head so that you're like, what am I? Am I always just working according to their will? And then that's how you kind of just begin to fall in and work to their will. I feel like if you just don't kind of fall into that, you're kind of okay. I don't see how you can really go wrong. But uh, yeah, in any case, what we are doing in this episode after we have done that for Septimus Cygnus and can we get a perk for killing these things? Let's see. Can I get perk progress for killing you? Let's uh, let's see. I genuinely don't know whether it's anything or just humanoid. To oh gosh, this is actually so weak. I thought this was so much stronger. I swear this was so much stronger, this blood magic right here, but it's not. This is, how is it taking this long to kill a hawker? Gosh, no wonder Lord Harkon was no match for me, eh? <laughs> no, I don't know. This is, uh, I definitely remember this being a lot stronger. Lifeblood absorbed. Vampire blood perk progress increase. Had a little burp there from me, Coke, no sugar. Yeah, we're just going to leave all that because that just took way too long. And I can't access the map while in this form. But I do know that uh, Windhelm is this way. So, we are on our way to Windhelm. And what we are going to be doing there is... Bump, 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 going to our quest log. We're not going to be doing a Dying Wish. We're not going to be doing Culling the Beast. We're not going to be doing Impatience of the Saint. We're not going to be doing Alduin's Bane. This is main quest. We will get onto it. Do not worry. Do not worry. I, you know, as you know, I just like to... We've taken... We've put this on the back burner. I like to... I like to sprinkle things in and out. I feel like if we completed the main quest super early, then it's just like, you know, we're just running around in the world. And there's still heaps of stuff to do, but the main quest is done. You know what I mean? And, you know, it just makes me feel a certain way that I don't want to feel just yet. So we're going to skip all this. No, not repairing... Oh, uh, we'll do this when we do this. Uh, you know, killing two birds with one stone in survival mode and all that. Taking care of business? No, not quite yet, but we will do that. Ah, here we go. Dragonborn, I've been attacked by a group of people claiming to work for someone named Mirak. I need to find out why they're trying to kill me, and so I should look for the boat in Windhelm they used to travel to Soul Slime. Quest objectives, travel to Soul Slime. Let's activate that quest. Let's get the quest marker up, and let's run away from that big chubby bear and hawker and everything that's trying to kill us, because why wouldn't they be trying to kill us? Because we're, we're floating around in Skyrim, and we obviously don't look intimidating. Why wouldn't they be coming after us, trying to kill us? And... Of course, it's daytime. Why wouldn't I have any stamina regeneration? And of course, it's survival mode. So why wouldn't I be able to fast travel? And of course, I'm getting hungry. And of course, I need food. And of course, I need sleep. And of course, I... <sighs> <sighs> Let's not complain about Skyrim. Let's enjoy the game for what it is. Like, look at that. My stamina just came back. I don't know what from, but it came back. And that was Skyrim's decision to give it to me. That was Skyrim's decision to give me back my stamina. Thank you, Skyrim. Thank you. See, as soon as I stopped complaining, Skyrim did a little something for me. Maybe we're going to continue the trend. Of course, that's not how anything works in the real world. We're all very aware of that. I don't know why my stamina came back. It just came back. <laughs> it wasn't because I was being nice to Skyrim or anything like that. No, 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 no. That would be too simple, and that would not be what Skyrim is. You see, Skyrim, especially on Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode, it's a continuous test of willpower. <laughs> basically but I love it it's super fun 
but it is a it is a non-stop non-stop just onslaught onslaught of but can you continue and then you continue and then it's like aha yes but now this thing and now i ask you again can you continue and then you continue and then it's like ha 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 yes i see the willpower is strong with this one but now this and it throws something else at you and then it asks but can you continue and then you continue and then it's just like it continues back and forth until eventually you decide you've had enough with that character and then you just start the pain all over again by starting a new character, Legendary Difficulty Survival Mode. <laughs> but I will not be doing that. When I get to my next playthroughs, more than likely, I will still play on Legendary Difficulty. I don't feel like I can really play on any other difficulty except for Legendary Difficulty at this point. It's just how I am. Whenever I play games and I've played on Legendary Difficulty or I've already done one playthrough on a lesser difficulty, every difficulty from then onwards just has to be the hardest difficulty. It's just... It's just a part of my soul. It's just a part of my nature. It's just who I am. I just, uh, I, I feel like I can't enjoy the game fully unless I'm playing it on the largest difficulty. Or on the largest difficulty. The hardest difficulty. Sorry. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I'm robbing myself of some experience or something or some fun or some challenge by not playing on the hardest difficulty. And it's a blessing and a curse because in some games it's great. And then in other games, like uh, State of Decay 2, it is painful. <laughs> it is... We're going to kill you, actually. Uh, it is painful beyond all belief. We just got to hope your arrows don't do much. Oh, gosh. Why does it take so long to kill you? What? It is my best. I'm sorry. This is going to be a very slow death for you. A very, very slow death. But we're just going to... We're, we're going we're gonna to suffer through it together, you and I. Don't worry. I'm here for you. But yeah, man, State of Decay 2, if you guys have not uh, played that, um, I highly recommend it. It is an extremely, extremely fun game, an extremely addictive uh, gameplay loop. But I, uh, I, I'm at a point where I can no longer play it because, as I said, I'm the kind of guy that has to play on the hardest difficulty. And the hardest difficulty in uh, State of Decay 2 is Lethal Zone. And if you guys have played Lethal Zone, you know it is not impossible, but just uh, painful. <laughs> painful. Painful to... No, do not take that from me. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, not painful as in like, oh, you know, this is cha this is like, you know, ah, oh, dang, I died. Uh, it's like, it's, it's painful where like, you feel something inside you. You feel something, something inside you dies when one of your community members die. And you're just like... Uh, and it's just like I can't explain the feeling. Those of you that have played State of Decay 2 that have gotten attached to characters, gotten attached to a community, gotten and like built people up from nothing, like you've improved all their skills, you've given them a good fifth skill, and you've got like some really good ones that have got like good traits, like unbreakable, yada, yada like all the rest of it. You've done well and you've been working hard at it. And then what the I don't a peddler? Uh, we're just gonna leave it, I get, yeah, uh, do I, mm, I kinda wanna kill them, we're gonna kill them. Get rid of this, cause this will kill them too slowly. Go into revert form, when you're ready, Skyrim, when you're ready. Okily dokily, let's get out destruction, and let's blow them away. Yeah, for those of you that have played State of Decay 2, you've gone through all that stuff, you've, you know, built up your character whatnot, and then lethal zone decides hey you know it would be harder you know you know it would be good you know you know what we should do right now let's uh let's just spawn in three blood ferals there we go and all of a sudden your community is uh less by two or three people <laughs> and there's nothing you can do about it there's just they're just going wow you got a lot of stuff uh look picks we'll take those Ebony, why have you got this stuff, my friend? Why? Well, um, I don't know what to take and what to leave. I'm overwhelmed for choice right now. I want it all, but I can't have it all. Oh, jeepers. Uh, yeah, take all that, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Uh, yeah, let's kill you two. Are you a bandit? Because if you're just... No, you're a bandit marauder. You're going to take forever to kill. I would have turned into a vampire lord for you, but it would just take too long. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just going to do this to you. Yeah, I'm not so sure I will. I'm not so sure I will. You seem really confident for a person that's having these elemental balls of electricity and fire being casted at them and just being absolutely destroyed by them. 
you're uh, you're way too confident. And we've got an enemy horse as well for some reason. I'm just gonna leave him. I'm not evil and sadistic. I'm not going to. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to do it. We're going to get our Nightmare, though. And we're going to get our own stamina back because, for those of you that don't know, it's a recent discovery I've made myself. If uh, if you have no stamina, your horse also has no stamina. Now, why, I hear you ask? No reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It just seems to be a mechanic that uh, that is in Skyrim. I don't know. I don't know why it's a thing. It's been... It's been irritating a few times when, especially at the start, I couldn't, I, I didn't exactly know why my horse wasn't sprinting. It was just jogging the whole time. And then I eventually figured out, yeah, my stamina's down. My horse's stamina is also down uh, for some reason. I don't know. It's, uh, it just kind of happened. And it's, it's kind of one of those links where it's like, why is that a thing? But for some reason, you can also understand why it is a thing, and that's how you figure out it's a thing in the first place. But you're also just like, how is my stamina connected to the horse's stamina? But then you're also like, well, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to explain. But in any case, we're here, finally. After all that, we have traveled from Septimus Cygnus' outpost, offense, and now... Defense, am I right? You are very right, my friend. And now, we are going to talk to... Uh, what are the details of this quest, by the way? Did I just not read? No, I did read it. I did read it. So, travel to Solstheim. So, to travel to Solstheim, we have to talk to a certain captain in captain Windhelm. Captain does the business around here. I'm just a ship's mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, if Captain Gallant. If you're looking Gallant. for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. Well, that ends that quest line, guys. So what we're going to actually go on with next is... No, I'm just kidding. We are Captain going to Yarland do the Skyrim and make this dude do something he does not want to do at all. If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. We shall see, my friend. We shall see. Are you the captain of the Northern Maiden? Sure. Yeah, that's me. Why? Who sent you? I was attacked by some cultists who came here on your ship, buckaroo. Now, hold on. That wasn't my fault. I didn't know they were going to attack anybody. I don't even know how I got here. Uh, that's, uh, that's awfully convenient for you, hey. How can you not know how you got here? You sailed here, right? It's hard to explain. I'm all ears. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then... And then you traveled here. The next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Maybe you just got into a flow state or something. You know, that's a very interesting concept, by the way, guys, if you haven't looked it up. The flow state. Uh, I'm not going to get into it because it's completely unrelated. But, you know, do, do yourselves a favor and uh, look up what the flow state is and how to get into it easily. It's pretty pretty interesting stuff. Yes, you are. You're taking me to Solstheim. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Oh, yeah, yeah yes, yes, no, no. I have been listening to you, but... Uh, <clears throat> have you been listening to me? People are trying to kill me. I'm not taking no for an answer. Hold on now. I'm just the Yeah, sailor. that's I don't right. Want to get mixed up in any of this. All right. I'll take you. But we leave immediately. Yeah, sweet. Good. You're just a simple sailor and I'm just a Thor Amber Alt, not someone you want to mess with if you're aware of the name, my friend. And here we are, the beginnings of the Dragonborn DLC aside from the cultists that come to Skyrim and kind of, you know, trigger it, obviously. This well, is the first cinematic are. experience. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. I'm very glad Good to see luck. it. Bit of change of scenery. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Oh, that seems like a quest for me. That seems like a quest for me indeed. Absolutely love this, by the way. Such a good DLC. The Dawnguard DLC, the Dragonborn DLC. Some people have their favorites, like one more than the other. I think they were both done really well. They're both really, really fun to play through. Uh, search for information about Mirak. And who are you? I don't recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Oh, awfully demanding, hey? 
Let's say I'm looking for Mirak. Do you know him? Mirak, I... I'm not sure that I do. Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Sure Any thing. Any questions? Uh, yeah. You know who Mirak is? Uh, you kind of said you're not sure. What does that mean, my friend? Elaborate. I... I'm unsure. Yeah, you said that. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Can you tell me anything about him? I don't think so. I'm not... The, the name has something to do with the Earthstone, I think, but I'm not sure what. Awfully uh, convenient for you, I'd say. Why are you so suspicious of visitors? The visitors are getting suspicious of you now. I have to be. As second counsellor, the security of Raven Rock is my primary concern. Fair enough. <laughs> has security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here, and we've had more than a fair share of troubles. After Black all, memory issues. Together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvain down. What do your titles mean? Councillor Morvain is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. Raven Rock is purely a Dunmer settlement? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. But the Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles. But when House Redoran took over, we turned it around and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. What is the city of Blacklight? Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. Such a, such a, such a, just a, what's the word I'm looking for? Just a, a pompous attitude that the elves have, like as if I should know about your homeland. Like what, what kind of expectation is that? Why should I know anything about you? Like, why would you, why would you like, as, as, as much as he says you, your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me as, but there's also the under, the undertone of that very sentence is the expectation that I should know and that I doesn't. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, well now I, I look down my nose at you because you don't know about me. So there's an expectation there. You know what I mean? It's like a, it's a weird snobby sentence, a weird snobby statement. Uh, but maybe I'm just interpreting it wrong. Maybe I'm just a little soft and I need to harden up. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I need to eat some concrete or cement or whatever the saying is. I can't remember. The Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. And there we go. Thank you for the dialogue. Thank you for the lore, Adril Arano. Okie dokie. Skyrim's doing that thing where it has 10 people talking at once. I'm not getting any more immersed. I'd love to listen to you, but it's just going to send me insane. I would love to listen to the dialogue, but it will just send me absolutely bonkers so more than mana we need to find an inn i think we need to find an inn redoran guard the retching niche i think that's the inn is that the inn a law house i feel like the retching niche is the inn that we would be looking for lent farm well that's locks that's definitely not it we really need to find some food because we are hungry vampires you know that thing where hung your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran Guard. Oh, hey, Kalidokli. Hmm. 
Always a pleasure to watch when a man like you walks by. Oh, no, oh, stop it! Oh, turning my cheeks red and everything. Let's uh, let's ignore all that. I want some food. I want some food. Give me some food. Gildas Sadri. Home of a finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your life. As the second counselor of Raven Rock, it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can. Oh, everyone's so pleasant here. Welcome that first interaction I had was just not at all. Uh, you've come to the right place. That first interaction I had was not at all the uh, the the set tone for this place. Everyone's very pleasant. So, what's the specialty of the house? The finest Sue Jammer to cross your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call. Sadri Sujama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. Very good. Uh, I could help spread the word. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. I bet, I bet. Yeah. What you were saying Take was awfully suggestive. Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. Sweet, so distribute Sadri Sujama, but uh, what I actually wanted... Gosh, can I not get some food? Can I... <laughs> please, please, everybody, please, stop. Welcome to Raven. My wife and I are doing the best we can to keep Ravenrock fed. Okay, let's just start this up then, I guess. Geldis Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. Hopefully we can just get this quest Next done while we're in here. By. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, I was hoping I could do it for you too, but it kind of makes sense that I can't. Than not working at all. Coolio! You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Gosh, we're just going to be picking up quests galore, and all I wanted to come in here for was some food. Why all the fuss over a simple pickaxe? No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Ah, I exactly see. exactly grow on trees, you know. Yeah, no, I did not know that. Can't you just get the guard to find Crescius? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. And by on your own, you Look, mean me. You see Crescius, I bet. Tell him to give me that pickaxe <laughs> yeah. back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. <laughs> okay, totally. Uh, Geldis Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Perfect. Ah, I was perfect. just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. Oh, it's all good. You're already here. Don't know what you're saying that for. But hey, all good. I'm happy to you help out. Precious, he better give Were that you the man I already know? Adrula Rano. Your visit here would be tolerated as long as you abide by Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to interrupt you. Gelda Sadri wants you to try his new drink. What? Oh, no, thank you. I need to keep my head clear. You better take it. You. Remember, oh, I'm going to remember you. Yeah, and I'm watching you now, buddy. You didn't do me a favour and just take this want dang thing off anything, my hands when I just, just want to get some sports. food. As the wife Sindiri Arano. Of Ravenrock, it would be my pleasure to help you oh, you're you the can. wife of this guy. Will you take a drink? You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you oh, no, please, no. <laughs> There's too many of these. I'm just going to have to stop it there. We will get around to everything, especially if I do a 100% playthrough. But there is just too much stuff that people want me to do. My quest log is huge already. Geldas Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Oh, how kind. Thank Geldas for me, won't you? I shall indeed, I shall indeed. My gosh, look Good at the sidetrack. I came in here to get food. Look at me. I, oh, I just need to get food, guys. Stop distracting me with quests and stuff to do. Just give me food. I work for Mogul. Slitter. Mogul doesn't lend coin to outlanders. Look somewhere else. There you go, there you go. I just wanted to give you I'll a drink. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way and we'll do just fine. Gosh, all of you guys sound like you have quests to do. <laughs> if you're dealing with me, there's only one thing to remember. Pay your debts or end up hurt. That's great. I'm just here to give you a drink, pal. Take that swill and pour it down a well. Hey, Kali Dikali. Oh, okay. Well. Tell blade for hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. You are a very good follower, but we'll uh, we'll leave you for now. Oh, dang, just take the drinks off my hands. Welcome to the wretching next <laughs> corner club, my lord. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. Gelda Sadri wants you to try his new drink, and I believe you're an employee, so it shouldn't technically count, but please take it. Sorry. Oh, I know it. Gildas won't allow me to drink while I'm working at Vinetch. 
gosh, actually have to leave this right. place. And I have no food. This game, man, this game. Come on now. Let's at least uh let's at least complete the uh the people that want the drink and stuff. And while we're doing that, we're just gonna pick up like another fifty quests. I can already feel it in my bones. Let's go in here. Because I feel like I this is a manner. There trouble. should be food. What can I do of course for not. You, um I really just want some food, to be honest. If you guys could spare anything, literally anything, I'm starving, then there's no food. I can't buy it from anywhere. You guys don't have the uh, <laughs> Come on, just give me some food. But there isn't a scrap of ebony left. Okie dokie. You might want to just move on. I might want to, but I might also not want to. I am the man. Uh, I, I control my own destiny, is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I'm in control of myself, so I'm just gonna not walk, move on. I'm you gonna like uh, uh, let's go into the bulwark. I'm pretty sure this is like the guards' barracks. Hopefully, they got some food in here. Surely they got some food in here. Hopefully, it's not stealing. Ah, uh, and it's stealing. It's stealing. I have to. I have to do it. I have to steal the horse's haunch. I have to steal that ash yam. I have to steal the cooked beef. I have to steal the sweet roll. Uh, and now we are out of carry weight. Gosh, oh golly. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, restore 18 points of stamina. Decreases the target stamina regeneration by 30% for 60 seconds. Restores 2 points of hunger. Terrible. And let's do that, and we are still not going to be... Oh, we are. Good, good, good. Good. Actually, that's good. Okay. Hello. Splendid. Another mouth to feed. <laughs> oh, don't you know. That is uh, that is that is actually exactly the reason why I'm here. I'm here to take all your food, to be honest, because I have none. Ah, here we go. Cooked beef. Perfect. Perfect. And I want to see what's in this lockbox. What's in here? East Empire Company Strongbox. I believe that is for a little something. Let's uh let's lock pick it. Why not? Let's do it. Let's get the experience. One lock put one lock pick there. Yeah, you see it, you see it. Here we go. East Empire pendant. I believe these tie into something else. I'm just gonna take it just because I want it. Uh we'll take the we can't actually s um, we'll just leave the rest. Like they they'll be cool to have, you know, jewels, blah 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 blah, but we can't actually do anything because we don't long, have a fence just long. yet. No but luckily for us, we Stand now aside. have fed ourselves. Okie dokie, no need for the aggression. Let's keep looking around. Oh, there's okay, there's heaps of people on this boat Editing. to give this stuff to. Let's do it. No, 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 it's all good, my friend. We're gonna just let's no, talk to Gnarlan. Uh, okay, I can't give it to you. Can I give it to you? Can't give it to you. Can I give it to you? Okie dokie. You guys are a waste of time. Thank you so much for that. Let's get some healing out so we can run because it's daytime even though there's no sun anywhere around here. Uh, what's up here? Temple. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually properly explored Soul Slime, so I'm actually enjoying taking this time to actually run. Like, I've never seen this dude. Low and danger lurks beyond the light. I am confident that they will never abandon us again. Yeah, I've never seen this guy or his interesting clothes, so let's have a talk Are to you him. Oh, uh, no, I'm here respect. to drop off some alcoholic beverages if someone will take them, please. <laughs> I'm begging you, please. I just want to I just want to get something done. I just want to get something done. I came into the inn. All I was looking for was some food. You gave me a quest, and now I've just got these bottles of alcohol that i got to drop off and find people that will take it, but nobody will take it. I just can't. I don't know what to do. Please, please. I'm asking nicely now. All I need... Oh, let's get our stamina back up again, I guess. All I need are some characters that will take it. What is the time? It's... Why is my stamina regenerating so slow? Okay, uh, we're going to just destroy our fatigue levels real quick. Because I need to get some people out here. Because I need to start dropping this stuff off. Let's wait another extra hour. And here we go. People start spawning outside. I need to talk to you. Is it getting hot? Gelda sad, but he wants you to try his new drink. Well... Tell Geldus that Miri says she really appreciates it. Oh, I will. I will. Thanking you for and taking that. For oh, I won't. I won't. You little flirtatious devil. You, want feathers a lot. Or just laugh at our misfortune. I want to give you I'd a drink. I'd be on the first ship off this island if I had the coin. What a waste. What have you got for sale? You might have some stuff for me to sell to you. Just what you see here. Oh, you got a good amount of gold too. Wowza. You got some good stuff. Stuff. Okay, cool, cool. What we're going to do with you is we're going to boop, boop, and we're going to... Why do I have this? 
Yeah, we'll sell that. That's uh, that's really expensive. Uh, we'll sell these too. Uh, oh wow, I think that's unique, but worth nothing. I guess we'll hold on to it. I guess uh, we'll sell these. You don't have enough money for it. We'll sell this, and why not? You can have that as well. And uh, Geldis Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Geldis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. His drinks are outstanding. Thanks. Go gosh. That was the definition of he had us in the first no, half. I thought he was not going to take it. Sitting in the sun for a week. Look, I know why you're here. I'll get the coin. I promise. If you want that beautiful hmm. wife of yours to stay that Always way, it's a pleasure to better. watch when a man like you walks by. I'm no fan of the sun. Mm. They would be better you seem unpleasant this. to deal with, but you to Raven Rock, have I given you a drink? My wife and I are doing the best we can to keep I Raven did. Rock fed. Oh, well, that's very good of you. Very honorable. We haven't spoken to you. My husband, Bendel, feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, of course not. I am not that kind of person. Gelda Sadri wants you to try his new drink. Sure. Got nothing better to do. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Four more people. Be free from danger. And you as well. You're so helpful. Thanking you. Thanking you so much. Oh, four more people. Four more people. Four more people. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. There's got to be people up. There's got to be people up. There's got to be people about. <laughs> That's why I waited for daytime. Come oh, on. No. More people. Ah, uh, no. What happened to all the pleasant dialogue you had for me before? Did that all just stop? Not happening anymore? Uh, oh gosh, please. Even in case you got j just to let you guys know the reason why I want to do this and find it out so urgently is oh, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> really bad. I've drunk a lot of coffee, a lot of water today, and I'm paying for it now, and uh, I really just need to get this done so I can go but there's nobody why is there nobody there's four more people at least there has to be otherwise the quest could not work miserable. Just miserable. can't go in there okay the wretching netch Never that's where we've already been before. um I've seen plenty of you now let's I guess go back in here hopefully more people are awake Please, I'm not lost. I'm just really trying to get some As stuff done. You won't have it. Uh, maybe you will have it. Half of House Redarin and as Councillor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. Oh, you're far more welcoming than your uh, friend was that jumped on the boat. Geldis Audrey wants you to try his new drink. Good old Geldis is always managing to keep our spirits up How much longer and our eyesight hazy. Thank you. Oh, thank you for taking it. My Three more Which I've got people. Oh, I would love to listen to the dialogue, but I just really want to get this quest done because the sooner I get this quest done, the sooner I can go and allow myself to uh, release the pressure building in my bladder. I work for Mogul. You got a Have I spoken to you? No, I haven't. But a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make a life here? What's the point? Might as well just have a drink, eh? At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Sweet, I shall, and Keep I appreciate it more safe. than you know. I've already well, given it to you, haven't I? I, I have. Oh, you there's got to be someone else. Someone, anyone, please. Just show you your, your face. Survive. Just go out for a walk. Right. Hope Maybe there's more people in the wretching nest now. Maybe there's more people awake and about and... You know, wanted to spread Mobile stuff. Okay, you guys don't want it. I Look get it. I get else. it. Um, oh, gosh. There's nobody. There's nobody here. Oh, gosh. This is not good. This is not good. There's nobody. I'm, okay. Okay. There's just get Okay. <sighs> I've tried my best. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to end it there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please turn on the notification bell and leave any comments below, any recommendations, or just stop by to say good day because I promise to I'll respond to everybody and I genuinely love the interactions so so much. But regardless of whether or not you do anything, I've just asked. Please have a fantastic day. Bye bye.